renaming, copying, and moving, and basically manipulating your files within Windows. The first thing we need to do is open up my computer. In Vista and Windows 7, it's actually just labeled computer. You can find it on the start menu, or there's usually an icon on your desktop. From here, I'm going to go into my C drive, which on most people's computers will be the main drive. And before we get started, I want you to make sure that your file extensions are turned on. You can do this by pressing Alt to bring up this menu. Click on Tools, then Folder Options. Click the View tab, and make sure that the selection that says Hide Extensions for Known File Types is unselected. After you've done that, click OK. This way you can see all of the extensions beside your files, whether it be a .txt file or a .exe file. Sometimes directories will have a lot of files with the same name, only with a different extension. So it's very handy to be able to see exactly what you're moving. In order to create a new folder, there is a couple of different ways, but the easiest way is to simply right-click. Click on New in the menu, and click on Folder. We now have a new folder. It will allow us to rename this folder. You can see it's selected blue. So we can rename that anything we want. I'm going to rename it Folder 1. Go ahead and click on that and enter it. If you want to create a new folder, once again, right-click, New, Folder, and give it a name. Folder 2. Other ways to create a new folder are to click Alt on the keyboard, click the File menu, New, and click Folder. Basically the same method, just the menu's in a different location. You can also create new files this way. Right click, click New. Depending on what programs you have installed on your computer, you may have different choices here. If you have Office installed, you'll see uh, things like Microsoft Office Word document, Access Database. But one that should be on all computers is Text Document. That is a .txt file, or basically a notepad file. Once again, after you create it, you get to give it a name. I'm just going to call it My Document. So that's how you can create new folders and files. What if you want to move them around? Well, we'll discuss that now. In order to uh, copy a file, there's several different ways. Once again, you can right-click on it and click Copy. And you just go to your destination. It can be in the same window or it can be in a different window. It can even be on the desktop. You just click on your location, right-click, and click Paste. If I go back to the previous location, you'll see that the original document is still there because we made a copy. You can also do this by pressing Ctrl-C on the keyboard. Go to a different folder this time. Press Ctrl-V on the keyboard. Once again, we have a copy. I'll create a new folder here. Folder 4. To show you another way to make a copy. Click Alt. See the Edit menu. You can either press Alt plus E or press Alt on the keyboard. Then click Edit with your mouse. And click Copy. Go to your destination. We'll press Alt again. Edit. And Paste. So there's several different methods, but they're all basically copy and paste. In order to delete a file, you can right-click and click Delete. That's probably one of the easier ways. Works the same way for folders. Right-click on the folder, click Delete, and that folder's gone. If you want to copy a folder, use the same methods as we did with copying a file. Right-click and click Copy. And we can paste that in. Notice there was already a folder with the same name, so it appended the word copy onto this folder. Folder 3 dash copy. If we'd place that in a new location, it would not say copy. Other ways to delete a file or folder are by pressing the delete key. Just delete on the folder, 
right there. Just click delete on the keyboard, and it's gone. Press delete on a file, the same thing happens. Once again, a lot of different methods for the same task within Windows. You can also press Alt, click on File, then click Delete. Works on files and also folders. Alt, File, Delete. Another useful task is the ability to move a folder. Let me create a destination here. Let me call it Folder Destination. In order to move a folder, we can right click, and instead of clicking copy, click cut. This makes a copy to the clipboard, but it will uh, not keep the copy in the original location after it's pasted. We go to our destination, right click, we click paste, go back to the previous folder. You see it has been moved instead of being copied. Another way to do this is by dragging and dropping. Simply left click, hold it down, and you can move this to a destination. You can move it over to the sidebar over here. If I hold it there for a second, you'll notice it says move to folder 1. That's exactly what I want to do. So when I let go, you see it has been moved. I want to move it to folder destination. I can also drag and drop with the right click. Select the top one. I'm going to drag it to the next folder in line. When I let go, it asks do I want to copy or move or create a shortcut. That's because I was dragging and dropping with the right click instead of the left click. Once again, I'm going to move this time, so I click move. You can also move things to your desktop using the same method. Just drag and drop and it's moved. I'll drag and drop back with a right click and choose copy this time. You can use the Alt menu as well. Alt, Edit, Cut. Select a random drive here. Alt, Edit, Paste. There's my new folder. It has been moved. I'm going to press Delete now because I'm through with that folder. I still have a copy over here on the desktop. I'm going to move that to my flash drive. Now, if I drag and drop this to my flash drive, it does not move it. Even though if you drag and drop within the same drive, like if I drag this from somewhere on the C drive to somewhere else on the C drive, it will automatically move it. But if I drag it from the C drive to, say, the F drive, for instance, it makes a copy. Whenever you're switching drives, it defaults to making a copy instead of moving. If you want to move the folder, you can always use the rat, click and drag, and then select copy. If you wish to rename a folder, there's several ways to do that as well. You can click on the folder. Wait a second, and it'll highlight itself. You can give it a new name. Newly named folder. You can also press Alt, File, then select Rename. Once again, it's selected. Renamed folder. Just tap in the new name, press Enter. Or you can right click, click Rename, like that. Re renamed folder. Works the same way for files. You can right click, click rename, new name, dot text. You can right click, you can left click, wait a second, it'll highlight, rename it that way. Or you can press Alt, File, Rename, and give it a new name. That's basically all there is to copying, naming, renaming, and creating files and folders within Windows.